Chad, what is the latest with Alvin Kamara and uh, legal issues right now in Vegas? Well, he's been arrested for assault uh, in Las Vegas, and the official police report is out now where essentially he was at a casino I've never heard of, uh, this casino. I don't even know. I guess it's an off-strip casino. Uh, in a nightclub in this casino, but it was at 5.50 p.m., walked out of this place, was going to the elevator, uh, a man approached Alvin Kamara and his group at the elevator, and according to the, the, the victim, is saying he tried to get on the elevator with Alvin Kamara and his group. Someone he's identifying as Kamara shoves him out of the elevator, and as he fell to the ground, his crew and multiple people started kicking him outside the elevator, and he's got a fractured eye, uh, orbital bone, in his eye that may require surgery, eye can't open right now, uh, had to seek medical attention. And because of that, Alvin Kamara uh, was arrested on assault. A terrible situation. And the Las Vegas police report said the video that we obtained backed up his claim. So I saw some said initial saw Said we saw a group attacking him outside the elevator. I don't know if this has been clarified as to what time the uh, alleged victim came forward to the police with this. Because they were apparently they came to get Kamara right after the Pro Bowl. Yeah, I'm I'm unclear on the timing of it. When he went to the hospital and then when he also filed charges, I feel like there's a day in, there's a day gap, 24 hour gap there. He went to the hospital immediately after being attacked, and then they picked up Alvin Kamara, and he you know there was no resist or any resisting from right. him. Uh, he went with authorities the next afternoon. Well, they would clearly after the Pro Bowl. They would clearly know where he was at the end of the Pro Bowl, but they would clearly know where he was at the beginning of the Pro Bowl as well. That's speculation, but it's out there as to, uh, or there's some questions out there as to why he would have been let to work on Sunday afternoon if the accusation had been made on Saturday, Saturday late. Well, it, it's a bad situation for one of the superstars of the NFL. And Hutton, you brought it up about the state of the Saints right now. Not good uh, with that roster. They don't have a coach. They've yet to hire a coach. And now your best player on offense is in quite a bit of trouble. Yeah, and, you know, they, you, the, the team itself is not going anywhere fast. I mean, I, with John Payton out and thinking about the, the situation, trying to find the new coach, Many think it's going to be Dennis Allen, but Eric Bieniemy is also interviewing for the position. Um, they're, they are in salary cap hell coming up. I mean, the, the worst situation moving forward. Uh, second is Green Bay on the projected cap. Um, number one is New Orleans. They, they, they have always kicked the can down the road with Drew Brees, and then they've handed out money and a bad contract to Taysom Hill, at least the quarterback portion of it. I know it kind of varies, Paul, with Taysom Hill on what position he's labeled as, yeah. but it's just not a. It, it, they, you know, they've got wide receiver issues. Uh, certain guys don't want to play there anymore. I mean, it, it's uh, Michael Thomas. So, I, in someone's at, inheriting a mess yes. when they when they take over. Yes.